Hey YouTube. Uh, Long time no see. Yeah, sorry. Um, we don't have a good excuse. Uh, we were just living life. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, and uh, on that subject, um, speaking of life and all of that, me and Katie just bought oh. a house. Didn't think we were going there. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we just bought a house that's actually being built, so... We're yeah. just excited. We're going to have a yard for the puppies and um, three bedrooms, and it's going to be pretty awesome, and I'm never going to want to leave the house. Yeah, we're supposed to move in around the first of the year, so um, we're pretty excited about that. It's both of our... It's going to be... That's a really big beer. <laughs> There's a big, giant beer on TV. <laughs> um, focus. Focus. Anyway, uh, it's the first house that we'll, either one of us has ever owned, so... Um, excited about that. We just had a lot going on. Um, in case you couldn't tell, I had uh, chest surgery uh, about three months ago. I'm three months post-op. Um, it looks really nice. Like, I can't even say enough for Dr. Doolin. Um, I mean, it's pretty awesome. And even Dr. Doolin has said it's one of the best he's ever done. So I'm really, really happy with the results. Yeah, for those of you guys in the uh, Dallas area or in Texas... Uh, Dr. Raphael is better known, um, but Dr. Doolin works at the same hospital or the same office as uh, Dr. Raphael, and he's the one that did my chest surgery, and I really couldn't be happier. He did a great job with it. It looks phenomenal. Not only was this Friday um, three months since surgery, but Thursday was five months on T, exactly. Yeah, five months on T, and so, I think the last... Uh, Last update I did was about seven weeks, so it's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. We don't have a good excuse, and then we've just been, kind of had a lot going on. Well, it kind of a good excuse. I lost the camcorder. Yeah, and then we didn't have batteries, but I mean. But that's all. It's all gravy now. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, five months on T. Uh, a lot to talk about, really. Uh, I know Katie's got some stuff to say <laughs> uh, about all of that, but, um. I guess probably since the last time I talked to you guys, uh, probably the most significant change for me physically uh, is just my overall size has gotten bigger um, growing out of my shirts. The mass. Yeah, I, uh, I wore a men's large before, and I'm probably into an XL now. A lot of my shirts don't fit me right anymore. Um, I am getting, I don't know if you guys can see this is probably pretty gross out of my mug up all on the camera, but I'm getting quite a bit of hair down here. Um, I'm getting some right here that's coming in. Um, oh, he's getting tummy hair. Yeah, I'm getting hair all over my stomach. Um, I don't have a happy trail. It's just all over my stomach. It's kind of a more of a happy forest. Kind of, yeah. It all kind of points to my belly button, but I don't have a happy trail. It doesn't seem right. Everybody gets a happy trouble with me, it was whatever. But, um, yeah, so I'm getting a hairy belly. And uh, speaking of bellies, um, since my my body is, is changing, um, my, sh my whole shape is changing, I'm losing. The hips and the butt have both migrated. To the belly. So I'm getting like a hairy Buddha belly. I know that's really hot, but what can I do? I got to work it off, so eventually I'll work it off. Because I am getting kind of a tummy. She loves it, though. He's got a couple spare tires. couple? <laughs> I have one. I love you. I have a couple. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, my legs are pretty much completely hairy now. It actually makes him look tanner. Yeah. Than he did last summer. Um, and I thought maybe he was tanning more. And then I realized that, nope, the skin underneath is still... Pale white. Yeah. So. It, it's my feet are ghostly white. So, yeah. It's just the hair. But they're pretty much covered in hair. My thighs everywhere is pretty much covered in hair, isn't it? That's sexy. Yeah. The hair on my arms, I think I've gotten a little bit more. Either that or it's just gotten coarser. Um, I always had a lot of hair on my arms, though. Oh, he shaved his head. Yeah. That's a new thing we're trying. We're seeing how that works. And. I don't know. I'm getting used to it. I'm actually getting used to it. I really didn't like it, but I'm getting used to it. I like it. It's pretty much no maintenance. I mean, 
come on, it's pretty awesome. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, but I, I had it like, uh, like I did in previous videos for years, so I just thought I'd try something different. Um, and I can keep this up myself, so. Uh, what else? I um, think, oh, speaking of hair, oh yeah, well, let me go to that in a second. Okay. Uh, speaking of hair, I think, I think, I'm starting to get more of that male hairline. The kinda. peaking on the sides. Like, n I never had like, see how, Ka I'm sorry, but see how Katie's hair is like, her hairline is rounded. I never really had that to begin with. It was more of a more square anyway, but it's kind of seems like it's coming back a little bit here on, on the, the corners. corners. Yeah, which is cool. I mean, it's whatever. I did notice it seems like I am losing a little bit of hair, like it's thinning out on top, but no bald spot or anything. But yeah, and um, we did have something that we wanted to show you guys too. We got our rings in. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's um, tungsten carbide, and it's got a, uh, what do they call that? Um, in, in, no. A tension setting. Tension setting diamond in it. And then his, he's not wearing right now, but it's the exact same thing, but without the diamond. Yeah, and it's a little wider. The band's wider, and there's no diamond, but everybody we've showed said they really love them, so. Uh, yeah. At some point, we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get here hitched. Yeah, we're going to get hitched. <laughs> um, but there's kind of a problem with that that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. Um, the other trans guys that have girlfriends or, you know, significant others. So, fiancés. Yeah, fiancés. <laughs> Fiancé. Um, so we can get legally married when I get my gender marker changed. And I can do that now that I've had chest surgery. Um, Texas says that that's enough for me to get a gender marker change. I don't have to get lower surgery, thank goodness. Um, but the problem with that is if I get uh, my gender marker changed when I go to have a hysterectomy, uh, ovarian hysterectomy, uh, any chance of insurance covering it is pretty much, yeah, they won't cover it if my gender is male. And see, the thing is to me, I don't mind waiting a couple more years so we can make sure that that gets done first to save the money, you know, because I think insurance should pay for it. Um, it and it's not going to change our relationship a whole lot. It's not like, oh, suddenly, you know, we're going to be married. He's going to be committed to me. We've got the same level of commitment. We love each other as much as I would hope you would still love me after we got married. Um, so I don't see that changing. I really want to get married, and I was kind of hoping for it to be sooner. But I'm not going to be completely heartbroken, and I'm not going to throw a fit. I'm not going to be a bridezilla. Well, that kind of bothered me a little bit, because I, I know, I mean, both of us wanted to really get, I mean, we wanted to legally get married, so that kind of threw a wrench into things, but I guess what's most important is just our commitment to each other, not a piece of paper. So, you know, we'll probably still have a commitment ceremony, or something like that, you know, and get married. It just won't be legal. And then maybe after I have the ovarian hysterectomy, then we can think about getting legal. We can married. get here hitched. Yeah, we can get hitched. So, anyway, gosh. Oh, we got a new animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, we got... I rescued a cat from work. She'd been hit by a car. She's a Siamese. Um, she's so sweet. She's like the sweetest cat in the entire world. Um, she had a broken pelvis. Her tongue was lacerated, her chin skin was hanging off, um, she had a couple lacerations on her and got her all fixed up. We've been working with her trying to get her to walk again and two days ago, three days ago, she mm -hmm. um, walked across the bathroom for us. But she's done really, really well, um, so I'm just hoping she continues to heal well. We named her Chai Lei, which means beautiful lady, um, and we call her Chai. Yeah. She's a little Chai. She's so funny. She's so tiny. She's such a tiny cat. And our other kitty is like 20 pounds. And Chai weighs 6 pounds. 6 pounds. So she's like a third of Avery's size. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's really small compared to Avery. So, Ben, Avery still kind of hisses at her, but I think they'll be BFFs eventually. Maybe. Maybe. 
and uh, she gets along great with the dogs. She loves the dogs. So, um, there's that. Just, I don't know, it just seems like we, we just had a lot going on lately, so I'm sorry it's been so long. But just kind of want to give you guys an update what's going on. Five months on testosterone. I'm really looking forward to the six-month mark. And then after that, a year. May 21st, 2010 is when I started. So So we will try and update when we can. Won't promise anything, though. The next couple months are going to be crazy with the house. Yeah. But we love you, YouTube. Anybody yeah. that watches this, we love you. And you guys have a great and happy Halloween. Bye. Bye.